What is happening? What? Oh no, what is happening? Welcome in, my friends. We could finish today anywhere from 7th to 10th. Let's find out what has happened with the results and what we're going to do in the transfer window, plus the end of season awards. And I want to hear from you who you think, you know, the signing of the season, young player of the season, all that good stuff is for this season. All right, my friends, welcome in. It's episode nine. If you are enjoying the series, you're like, you've already watched the other eight. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell? My friends, it's been a pretty good run. I think we've done just about as well as we could ask. We're no longer in danger of getting relegated. Today, um, Willem plays FC Emmons, so you'd expect them to probably win that game, which probably rules out us getting to that seventh place spot. Groningen, however, plays Ajax, and we play Vitesse. So you're saying there's a chance. I mean, if, if for somehow Emmons wins this game, we could jump into that seventh place spot. I can't remember if the money comes in on sixth or seventh. The money changes at 7th, so we get an extra 250,000 euros if we can make that jump. Here's what the recent results look like. You can't really tell, but this is Willem. Um, there you go. Jonas with a brace. 5th minute and 56th minute. Played pretty well. Will Koopmans with a 7.8. Not bad. We drew with PSV. Very happy with this result. We played the 4-3-3 with a DM. Um, the only player who had a rough game, really, was Leaf Davis on a 6.3, but again... PSV currently third in the league. So to get a draw at the end of the season, I was quite pleased with that. And then we nicked one against AZ, Ricardo freaking Kishna, my friends. Get in. So we take on 10th place for test today. I can't remember what happened the last time we played them. Did we? Yeah, we played. We beat them 2-0 away from home. So you're saying there's a chance from the squad standpoint, pretty much the usual suspects. We're going back to the 4-2-3-1, except my friends, you'll notice... We've signed Stefano Vecchia, nine grand a week. He's our new right winger, but he can also play left wing inverted. He can also play the attacking mid. And in an absolute disaster situation, he can play striker. He's worth 4.5 million. We paid zero in a transfer fee. We got him on a free. Again, if you didn't happen to see this last episode, um, I can't, he's, he's played his entire career at some level in Sweden, right? So with IF... Broma Poikarna, and then IK Sirius, um, who also got him on a free. And he scored six goals, two assists last season in 30 games. I'm not saying that's, you know, outstanding. But for us, I think he's a pretty good pickup. He's got a 6.7 early days. He's settling in. He's settling in. I don't like to see the marking and tackling going down, though, that early. Like, any, any drop in your attributes, mate, you're 26. Like, that's probably not a good sign. We've also signed, my friends, I got lots of magical signings for you here. Julian Carranza, I told you at one point, I wasn't sure if we'd sign him because I thought he'd want, he'd want um, like all the minutes, like star player. He actually said regular starter. I think we can balance it out enough. I'm not thrilled with his composure and concentration. However, I am thrilled that he's worth two. Oh, here's what, here's what's, you know, kind of made me go, okay. Inter Miami paid $5 million for him, okay? So I, I thought, okay, before we knew what his value would be, and I know it's influenced by what we're paying him, but I was like, if we could get two and a half million. You know, use him for two seasons or a season and a half and get two and a half million. That's a good investment on a free. And he may turn out, he's got the, the potential to turn out to be really darn good and kind of take over, right? We're going to loan Jonas Arvalo one more season, but I want to say our loan with him. Uh, is it regular starter minutes? I don't remember what we what we agreed to with them. Eh, maybe it's regular starter. But again, Jonas can also play left wing in a bind. Like, I think... With those players, there's enough game time to play them, and then Jonas goes away, right? And then by that point, Julian has stepped up to the plate. Maybe. We also got Novakovic that needs some games, although his... Depends on who you ask, because potential incredibility keeps fluctuating. But, I'm, I'm, you know, he's on squad player, so we're fine. We're fine. In other news, Leopold did actually sign the contract. He arrives on July 1st. This is the terms that we agreed to. Um, I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. Now, I'm, I haven't had the conversation yet with Luke Koopmans about dropping to being, like, the cup goalkeeper, maybe, or the backup. We'll see how that goes. But clearly, I think Leopold is an upgrade. So, again, 
we're getting him on a free. Now it says his value is 51 grand. That's because his contract's running out. So, you know, I think we're getting a pretty good buy there. Um, the rest is just, you know, some youth players or uh, Danny Baker has actually signed a contract with KV Kortrijk Voltbot in Belgium. So, again, I thought, eh, I think for 4.8 grand, we could probably do a little bit better. We'll have to see if that remains, you know, to be true. And, uh, oh, you can't see this back here. We brought in a couple Americans. Uh, Matt Beisler has come in as a try list because I was trying to bring some depth into our back line. Alejandro Bodoya, who I actually love to pieces just as a player, like workhorse willing to do whatever he asks. 66 caps, two goals. But the problem, my friends, is he's going to want 4.3 grand a week and be one of the most noteworthy. He's going to want like starter minutes. And I think that's going to be kind of the problem. I get, I, I've, I, I've segued without telling you into our planning for next year standpoint and just – Right, I, I want to give these kids a chance. Shaq has got a lot of potential. Keys to has got a lot of potential. And both are an important player in regular starter contracts, right? So it's it's trying to find the balance of bringing in a good player to be that rotational option that's actually good enough. Or, you know, is there enough game time to go around for, you know, Ravel, Keys to Boer, and Shaq, and one other to kind of get all the minutes? I'm not entirely sure. So uh, the plan is, my friends, his value has gone way up, and I I don't know why. Is it because he learned? I No, we already knew that. I don't know why his value. Maybe it's because we're now in some sort of European competition, but he's he's gone from 215 grand to 1.2. I would bite your hand off if you gave me a million euros right now for Yilton Diaz when we paid 14.75. We could do that, you know, again, same concept. Bring in a player, use him for 12 months, sell him. Uh, yeah yeah please more of that more of that one change to our tactic is i want to i want to play around i've literally never played foot manager with a truck artista and i know that means the 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 player does not come back to really help out on defense and all the attacking moves kind of work through them i'm curious if that could work for us he's really bad at tackling and marking and it's dropping so we, it's not like if we put him on winger on attack and train that, that all of a sudden his tackling is going to be a 10, right? So I kind of go, well, we don't really want to rely on him from a from a, a defensive standpoint anyway. So what if we change our tactic just slightly to put him on attack? He's got the support there from DeBoer. We still have the defensive fullback here. I'm, I'm just kind of curious how that'll work out. We're, we're testing. We're testing things out, my friends. We are favored, my friends. I didn't look at the odds, but it said we were favored. In our last five, not six matches, five matches, we've won three, drawn one, lost one. In their last five, they're two, one, and two. So it's not that big of a difference, if you ask me. Um, but this this will determine where we end up in the table. Could we get the extra 250? Does it really matter? Some would say no. But, you know, for a club that, you know, has a transfer budget of, like, Two million. Somebody pointed this out in the comments. Like, if you if if it is, you know, we're in the playoff or we're actually in the Europa League group stage, or if we don't make the Europa League group stage and we make the Europa Conference League or whatever, we only have two million in order to bolster our ranks to have some sort of continental competition and keep our players alive. Now, the good thing I I think you could say is, what a what? Okay, if that was an actual pass, um, we do have a ton of. Um, that B team that we could call up again. I'm not saying they're, you know, five-star players currently or anything like that, but we have some depth already at the club. What I'm kind of thinking is we're kind of a, what would you, a, a, a furnace. Is that what you would call it? Like we take those players that need a little bit of work and we give them some game time or those players that need another chance. And then we sell them on <laughs> Like, we work on them for a little bit. We take the anvil out, the hot metal. We hammer on them. Yilton Diaz, you know. He, and to be fair, Yilton did great, you know, obviously in the cup final. Maybe that's what drove the increase in his price. Oh, he scored two in the cup final. He got some attention. Whoa. Oh, it was lovely. Well done, lads. Well done. Um, but is that the kind of club we need to be for right now, right? Like, a refinery is kind of what I was thinking. Not a a furnace refinery but like we're taking that you know we're taking the rough edges off of our players and and improving them but they're not necessarily going to be star players you know playing at the world cup for us and we sell them on but in doing so 
A lot of times we pay no transfer fee because we can't really afford to, but we got some wage budget and we can bring, we can slowly improve the squad. The thing I need to work on is figuring out, and this is how I, I try and, and play foot manager. Um, and it's what I would do if I was actually in charge. Ricardo Kishna. <sighs> Ricardo Kishna. Um, is kind of having that two, three year plan as to where we want to go. And I actually don't know. Like I typically come in and especially in this case, it wasn't really realistic to all of a sudden completely overhaul the squad in the first season. That just wasn't possible. It was more like, where are our major gaps? Let's fill those in. But then it, it's helpful to go, where are we going? Right? Are we going to a Tiki Taka style? Which I've enjoyed playing with Burnley. Ooh, that was a little iffy. That whole situation was iffy right there. Maybe we're not going to play Tiki Taka. I think that would take a while. Is control better? You know, like... What do we what what do we want to end up being? Because that should determine the types of players we bring in, even if they don't get us all the way there, right? But if they're the step in that direction, you know, does that help? You could go short corner, Ravel. Nobody covering the short corner, mate. He just dinks it right back in. Vecchia doinks it off of the bar. So I'm curious what your thoughts are there based on our squad. I'll try it to remember to show you the comparison, although the comparison is going to have, I think, all of our trialists on as, as well, which doesn't really help us because some of them aren't going to be here, right? So I think we've done a little bit better than our, our expected goals would indicate, and, the, and they probably deserve a goal, but, you know, no complaints. Keep it going, lads. I didn't even look at the table. Did it give us an update here, and I just I blacked out because I was rambling? Probably. That probably happened. Cardo freaking Kishna. Oh, easy, lads. Don't 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 be trying to hurt him. Okay, Andre plays it back, but gives it right back. Okay. Oh, uh, mate, you, should, you know, swing it across. That that was never gonna work. Um, we triggered the extension on Gianni's contract. I can't remember if I told you that. Although his physicals are starting to get a little bit worrisome. Um, he's on 1.5 grand a week and on important player minutes. But even with that being said, he's, I, I think, well over a 7 rating. He's definitely a 7 rating in league play. So he's playing really well in that ball playing defender, and he's kind of that mold, right? That, that um, surely that's a red? What did he do? I, I missed the commentary. It looked like he just slid in and got the ball. I could be wrong. He's reviewing the footage. Christian with double A backs. Yeah, like he went in late. Maybe the commentary was just wrong. I, it looked like a clean tackle to me. DeBoer swings it in. Oh, I can't get to it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, easy, lads. Easy. So, um,. I kind of think of of Gianni as being that, you know, captaining the back line type player, right? Okay, Bayern and Shaq are one yellow. Oh, that's next season. You know, like I care, but Davis is going to miss the next match. So that's probably not ideal. Uh, yeah, it's it's fine. I guess we'll take Shaq off. That, you know, that way next season he could play left back for us. Sure, that's fine. Um, Michael Mulder, come on down. You've you've done all right. You're definitely more of a center back slash DM, but you can play, if you can play DM, you can play uh, uh, holding central midfielder. I want to win this game, boys. I know you want me to sub all the players, but I kind of want to win this game. So, heck yeah, come on, mate. And then he, of course, because he's on Trecotista, he doesn't even bother to try and go get that. He's just like, ah, just let him score. That's fine. Oh my goodness, what was that? Oh, another run to the VAR stand. Everybody doing this. But, my friends, I, I really hope you've enjoyed this first season. I wasn't planning on it being nine episodes long, but I also wasn't planning on us making a run to the Dutch Cup and winning it. So, sorry, not sorry, I guess, you know? Oh, penalty, referee. What are you on about? Oh, the commentators agree. It says he's gone down much too easily. Come on, Luke Koopmans. Do something before we demote you. Dasa. Oh, Luke, you were there, mate. I mean, you were you were in you were in the mix, son. Um We'll bring on Navakovic. That's fine. That's fine. You're not playing well, so we're gonna we're gonna bring on Dario. I know I was just bigging him up, but although you know does say that Pete is nervous and he's on the yellow so we'll, we'll do that we'll, we'll take the assistance advice sure 
sure. And I'm going to bring on Kane Seedorf to give him a little run out here at the end of the season. A little, a little pat on the pat on the rear. Like, hey, mate, thinking about you for next season. It's going to be you and Milan, I think is the guy's name. So, as you do, as you do, I need some of you to know how to tackle that. I think that's probably a gap for us, but it's also one of those things that we need them to develop. So, I'm willing to... I'm willing to give those guys a chance to play right back um, and to enhance their, you know, tackling capabilities. We'll still have Leaf Davis on the left helping us out. We may switch it to maybe Leaf plays the um, the fullback on defend, maybe. Ooh, that's a good ball. And then, oh, he's gone right past him, hasn't he? He's just gone right past him. Koopmans deflects it over. Folks, can we please pay attention? Um, and then have that supporting fullback with the Trecartista on the right. So maybe that's a maybe that's an idea because... Van Ebbick is definitely more of a supporting <laughs> winger uh, slash fullback than he is a defensive one. So we'll put it that way. Kishna looks knackered. So we're going to take him off. Let's bring on a little Evan Rottier is what we're calling him. Yes, it does automatically switch it to the inverted winger because I've done my job as the manager. Indeed, lads. Um, yeah. Go make a difference, son. Let me see what you got. Let's go. It hasn't... Okay, Groningen's losing. Sparta's losing. They were below us. I've missed the other updates if they've been there. I know I could stretch this out and see the table. It's more fun to find out at the end! Let's go! Well done, lads. Always good to finish the season with a win. No complaints. Table? Oh, eighth, as expected. Willem beating Emin. However, my friends... Ooh, I'm curious if we're going to get an update here on the next screen. Because I think it was maybe next season they want us to, you know, get a mid-table finish. So they're going to say, hey, you've, you've already done that. You've already done that, son. And, my friends, with the victory, we finish the year with a plus one goal differential. Get in. 47 points. Our target was 35. And 29 this year would have led to survival. That's pretty insane. A 1-0 win for them. So it was close. Stop moaning. We're still Otto Den Hag and they're still Vitesse at the end of the day. Easy, lads. Easy. Chill out. Everyone chill. We get the 5.72. We miss out on the extra 250 grand. But, you know, overall, my friends, we get 25 million. Like, I think when we started, we had 15.8 or 15.9, maybe 16, something like that. We've got our... Oh, the transfer budget keeps going up. 130 grand next year. Okay. Currently... Spending and committed to spending 87.9. Like, it's gone up a little bit in the last two signings, you could say. Yep, yep, sure has. Um, our actual wage budget, like if you, if you, or transfer budget, I should say, if, if we got down to where we're at, is about 686,000, yeah, give or take. So again, not a ton of room from a, you know, go out and sign somebody for 8 million, right? Even if they give us an extra 1.71 on top of that, maybe. Um... I'm not really counting on us doing much of anything in any kind of continental competition. However, that ends up next year. Not really expecting it. Um, it's more about can we get some extra income, really. I mean, because I think we've gotten there a little bit. Winner qualifies for the Euro Cup playoffs. So that's, uh, to me, it's the it's the game, the two-legged tie before you get into the Europa League. So massive there. The thing is, we don't want to overcommit. That is my fear, is we can't just go spend all the money as if we're going to get to the Europa League and then not get to the Europa League and have all these players that aren't getting game time. So we're going to take the save. This is how I would do it. If I was the actual manager of Otto Den Haag, I would take it a little bit at a time. Like, all right, boys, we made the playoff. We won the cup. Great freaking job. Let's not go crazy. Like, nice and slow and steady. We finished, what, eighth this year? Let's finish top six next year. Like, let's, I don't think it'd be a big ask, at least in my eyes, for us to go from 47 points to 67 points. An extra 20 points, that's seven wins, essentially. Taking those out of the loss column, I don't, I really don't think that's realistic. But if we can avoid getting embroiled in that battle, this is what I'm talking about. Work towards recording an era of AC top half spent. Well, we've done that. So, like, where's maybe it'll do it at the end of season awards, which we're going to do right now. So, my friends, before we get there, I'm going to show you the squad here. Feel free to pause if you need to. Um, and I want to know your thoughts as to who the signing of the season is, and I'll show you the transfers, who the young player of the season is, and who the player of the season is. 
in case you're missing anybody down here that's there you go enjoy yep just go ahead and hit pause if you need to i think there's three players it could be probably all right let's go I couldn't help it, my friends. I love Alejandro Bedoya. We've signed him on a one-year deal with an optional one-year extension for four grand a week. He wants to be an important player and play on box-to-box -box midfielder. And I love a box-to-box -box midfielder. I love a man that knows what he wants. He's like, I want a one-year deal. I'm willing to potentially look at an extension. Boom. I, I think, good turn. All right, my friends. So now I'm going, is four signings enough? I think we need a center back. That's kind of my only concern right now because I think we got enough wingers and strikers and midfielders now and right backs and left backs but i think we need a center back a really good center back would be pretty good all right end of season review the ticker tape parade ba -da 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 -da. we're riding on the back of the bus and it's me with a with a beer in my hand going one one dutch cup well three but me what it, it's confusing the new arrivals all right, let's see, because this is a bug in the beta where it, it gave the transfer fee from the previous club if you had him out on loan. So it looks like Leaf Davis. Okay, it's fixed that. Yay, we didn't pay anything for him. 37 appearances, one goal, one assist, 695. Very pleased to bring him on. Happy with the wage contribution. He's coming back next year. Novakovic, I didn't I didn't show you the signings of the season. So this is the signings if you if you want to leave your, your comments as to who the signing of the season was. <laughs> um, Novakovic, 394 grand. 16 total appearances, two goals, six, seven, eight. I mean, he's betting in, okay? Please say there are many future fees that, that there aren't many future fees that could end making the deal too expensive. Cool. Thank you. A minus. Not having to pay a transfer fee, even though his, his wage is on the high side. And we also gave uh, Vecchi, I can't remember if I, show, if I showed you on that screen. Um, he's got a minimum fee release clause of $7 million. My thinking here, again, is if somebody comes in and is like, we got to have him, $7 million would be an insane amount of money for us right now. So I was like, sure, we'll leave that in. Uh, Yilton Diaz, a C plus, lower wage than we would have expected to pay somebody of his ability. Not really shown up. Oh, I think you'd argue not in the signing of the season. Um, and Carranza, A plus. He hasn't even played a minute. They're just like, we're really happy. Um... We're pleased to see that the minimum fee release clause of 14.5 million, I had to go look it up, um, and it's to foreign clubs only. Again, the thinking here is, yeah, that's probably, if he really turns out to be good, probably kind of low, but again, we're, we're looking at being that refinery. Like, I'm going to rename us the refiners, essentially. Feeling storky, feeling refining, or something. We'll, wor it, it's, it, we'll workshop it. Um but, you know, you get these players in on freeze, sell them for $7 million, sell them for $15 million or fourteen point five. That's probably really good business for us, considering our current budget is $25 million total in our bank account. Seems like a good idea. Season results. Board expectation, avoid a relegation battle, 8th, 13,000 in attendance. Uh, I, I thought I saw something. It was on, like, a soccer version of Wikipedia that said, like, sometimes out of Den Haag Stadium gets called the cafe or the the coffee or something like that because it's always half full or something like that like the the home fans don't show up i know we have a lot of viewers from the netherlands so is that true because that's kind of sad but that wouldn't be the case for us 13th 86 percent. i'm not saying it's full but it's better than 50 percent um board of delight at the team achieved top pass finish no doubt that the final results at the end of the season helped us in overachieving Yes, including winning. Can, can we? Hello, can I get a little love here, or do I have to click this to get the love? Is that is that what happens? Um, got a little ropey in the middle. Not gonna lie, where I was like, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, look at that. If you space it correctly, that looks pretty bad. But we came good at the end. Look at that. Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? In ten games, we lost once. Talk about taking some momentum into the into next season. I don't like that you have to click that, but. Reach the third round. We won it. A plus. How about an A plus 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 plus? Winner. Look at. I mean, yes. Look at that. I mean, and it was. <laughs> these games are closer than they need to be. One nils, but we we got through, and then we we finally started scoring goals in the last two games when it really mattered. Moments to remember. Biggest win six one over Fanord. Remember that, and then remember how it was like. Remember, we forgot how to score. Uh, match to remember. What? Why is this the match to remember? the difference um goal of the season great strike from the on loan psv central bifter as he scores a fierce effort from 22 yards out can i can i watch the goal of the season i i wish i could just click why do i have to click into here 
and then click that. Like, shouldn't it just do that for me? Surely, is this the volley? I've already forgotten. Yes. So you all in the comments that you left this said, while well, I was freaking out about the, the, the kit colors, were like, goal of the season, clearly. Yes, you are correct. Congratulations. All right, continuing on here. Club reputation has not changed. No new sponsorship deals. So we'll have to see if anything comes over in the summer. I personally don't like this this um, ranking because I, I'm guessing it's one, two, three, four, five. But like that to me is not clear. It could be one, two, three, four, five. It could be one, two, you know, like, you know, just leave, put them, put them in this. Like there's enough space here to have one, two, three, four, five. Just that's just GHG's opinion. 5,500 shirts, 70.57 of uh, our merchandise sales are non-domestic. It's time to go on some tours. Can we afford to go on tours? Is that a thing? How we lined up, 4231. Nope. You know, he played on the left pretty much every single time, but the rest is correct. And and these guys are switched, so, you know, get it right. You'd say by the average rating, that wasn't the best formation maybe, but it worked. It worked. Accolades. Okay, player of the season. Bayern gets player of the season. He was not in my list of potential options to have player of the season, my friends. Not going to lie. 33 starts, two goals and assist on... He got two goals on the next year of one. Way to go. Um, I'm sure it's exactly one. It's not like 1.4. 7.1 um, average rating. Oh, why does it go all the way back? That's silly. That is a silly, silly thing. Um, young player of the season, Dante Rigo, my friends. Four assists, two critical goals in the Dutch Cup, one of them being a howitzer, a 7.78. I am really glad they loaned him out, and we're hoping that they just forget that he's here and we could potentially sign him. And now we're going to click all the way through this again. Yilton Diaz is the young player. I guess just from the number of minutes, but he's not going to be here very long. And Dante Rigo. I am stunned, my friends. I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely stunned that 17 goals and three assists for Arviler doesn't get you the fans player of the season. That seems crazy. Competition awards, none. Most clean sheets, Luke, 16. Johnny, player of the match awards, six. I guess I missed it. Leaf Davis, worst discipline, 10 yellow cards, zero reds. History in the making, hard work and effort paid off on the pitch, and such a feat didn't go unrewarded at the end of our season awards ceremony. Okay. Yeah. Great. That's that's not the game. Shouldn't that be the cup final? I don't know. That's just me. As expected. Hey, you've already passed that objective. Does that mean that objective goes away? Oh, next season. Reach the fourth qualifying round, which is the same. Th I guess I, I guess that's the same thing. Somebody left a comment that I think said that was the same thing. The fourth qualifying round, which is the same. This, uh, yeah, fourth league path for or this path. Either way, we have a two-legged tie, I think, to get to the group stage. Yes, two-legged tie. No. Is it just one game? I don't know. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Just noticed. Ha what? Build a new stadium? We have 25 million lads. We didn't even max out the capacity. That's just an ongoing plan? So, like, eventually? We gotta have the money to do that, right? Please don't go spend the minimal amounts of transfer budget we have on trying to build a stadium. Please do not do that. Do not do that, board. Goodness me. You'd think you'd get a little bit more support, to be honest with you. I mean, who is this? Okay, and Andre's not going to be here. Rigo is alone. I'm, again, if there's not one thing, if there's top 20 things I could have sports interactive, it'd be hire somebody with a background in color because that's Rigo. I couldn't tell you who the rest of these guys are if I didn't hover over there. I think this is. No, that's Novakovic. Faye, Ile, Van Ivik, Rotier, Seedorf. So new players or young players. The rest of like the main core of the squad actually likes me. So that's good. 
Again, if you haven't happened to purchase FM21 yet, well, one, you can use the link in the description with Humble Bundle uh, to buy it. Um, but this is what the end of season awards now looks like. Again, I think the room is a little tiny for a club of our size with all of these players, but you know, and, and the, the chairs might be a little more neatly organized, but whatever. Um, so this is where you're going to have your conversation about all the things that you want to accomplish next season. So, um, well, does a right, I just want to come back with a positive mind frame when you get back, cause we're going to seek a mid table finish next year, which is what the board wants. And almost all of you are coming back. So I think that's fair. Yes. That's exactly the kind of ambition I want to see. Ricardo Kishna. I may, I may, I'm not it, it, tattooed. Let's go. Let's go freaking Ricardo Kishna. Um, that's exactly the reaction. Come on, guys. The boss is right. We can get a mid-table finish. Um, I'll also be expecting us to give a good account of ourselves in the Euro Cup. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think that's a sensible target. Ricardo, you and me, beers, man. If I ever make it to the hog, we're going to go have beers. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, I think that's achievable. Um, I, I, hmm. I think I ran into this with Burnley is I left the promises to next season and they were all like, Ooh, where it's like, well, we don't know who's going to be here, but let's see what we could do here. I like that. Our assistant manager is expressionless. He's not excited. He's maybe he's just like, like a hawk reading the room. And he's like, anybody look like they're out of line, but just like expressionless while he does it. Like, you know, <laughs> what, what is he doing? Agreeable. Okay. Um, ooh. I do intend to make some changes in our backroom staff. They're kind of average-ish. Like a lot of eights and nines. So I think I'm going to promise that because we're going to let some of them walk. I might be alone in this, but I'm not bothered about that promise. Well, the rest of the the, the, the lads look all right with it. Um, I don't think I want to promise anything else. I don't want to over promise and under deliver. You never want to do that. Downcast. Come on. This, we'll talk about it next season. What, what do you want me to promise you? Can I get an indication of what they want me to promise them? You think, you know, your sister would kind of give you a tip. Like, They're going to want you to show you play the youth or something, you know, like a little heads up. <sighs> what is happening? What? Oh no. What is happening? The board of announced plans to build a new stadium and are in the process of searching for suitable sites and possible investors. The main reason behind this system was that the resident club need to come in a bigger crowd due to the high demand tickets for their home matches at Cars, Jeans, Stadium. We only were in the 80 percentile range. The board have however pointed out this will not be a smooth process. It will take some time before any plans can be finalized and put into action. Director Martin Joel really wants to take the club to the next level and considers building a new stadium to be a big step in that direction. How old is our current stadium? It doesn't say. 2007! It's not even that old! What are we doing? We're going to be saddled with debt, aren't we? Aren't we? We have, we have no debt right now. Transfer debt of 148000 but like... Look at that projection. That's the first time in a long time I've seen a like positive projection at the end of the season. Look at this. The bank balance going up. What are we doing? Oh, dear. Okay, my friends. This is where we're going to leave it because i got a lot of transfer stuff to handle. So the next episode may not come out immediately after this. It might. Because I still have to record the FA Cup final for Burnley, so make sure you watch that. Because I'm gonna those, this episode and that episode are gonna be on different days. But when I look at the squad, okay, we've got a new goalkeeper coming in. We've got essentially Milan Van Evek and Kane Seedorf. Again, Milan's what I'm talking about. He's got nine on tackling. Ooh, Kane is eleven. Kane may end up being our starting right back. Do, do, do. We'll see. Um, as a right back options, we get Gianni at least for another season. Again, 1500 is cheap now for us, now that our wage budget... 1500 was expensive at the beginning of the season, now it's cheap. Pete Bayan is here until 2022, but we do have an extension, so we're gonna, we'll are gonna we knock that out. Leaf Davis comes back. 
We do have Boy Kemper as our other left back option or Shaquille. So I'm going to look at our B team and youth prospects to see if we have another left back. Otherwise, I'd like to see if we can get one in. That's a, a decent quality, you know, understudy to him because I'd love to really convince him that he wants to be here instead of Leeds, although he's got an extra deal. So if we could just keep loaning him, that saves us money. We'd be fine with that. Keys to Boy Shaquille, Andrea, um, not Novakovic, sorry, Alejandro Bedoya, if he accepts the contract coming in to help out our midfield. I thought about selling Ravel. This is concerning to me. So that might be something we do if we're going to have to change the way we play. Do we do a 4-3-3, but just three midfielders? Or we go back to the DM, or do we keep the attacking mid? We got the new uh, right winger. We got Ricardo Kishta. We got Jonas coming back. We got Novakovic. We got Julian. Our striker position is covered. We're going to sell Yilton Diaz. We have Evan Rottier that can cover right wing and left wing to give him some game time. Dante Rigo comes back on loan. We have some youth prospects here. Attila takes the, can do the midfield stuff. You know, I'm thinking center back and like a backup left back are kind of the gaps right now. So I'm not expecting to go spend a ton of money, at least like on a number of a quantity of transfers, because I kind of like what we have. And then not to mention all the players in the B team and, and the, the under 18s that we can call up. So that's what my plans are here. Again, I think this team report comparison I'm going to show you is going to include all of the uh, trialists. So I don't know if we've really changed all that much in C comparison to last season, I mean, or, or the beginning of the season, I, I should say. Mm. Mm. But we look to be about an average team. Again, can we take a small step forward next season, finish mid table again, and improve? Maybe sell some players on and continue to improve. One that I'm going to see how he turns out. This may be the determinant is if we sign him and sell Ravel and change our formation. Um, if, cause if we're going to play the box box midfielder, if we could play Nicholas here in that DM spot or rotating between the DM and the midfield with, with Shaq, he's 22 looks to be the type of player you'd want to have around if he continues to improve cause he's 20 freaking two. So that's kind of my thinking there. Everybody else is probably not going to be good enough for us or maybe not worth the investment. This guy's got high potential, but like, I kind of don't really know what he is. Like, he looks like a deep-lying playmaker, but his composure, it's just he's kind of like a mess. So, not not a big fan. Um, Kadich is also going to cover that right wing, so maybe we don't need to bring in one because he's still here <laughs> for another game. Unless we sell him. We could always sell him. So, we'll see what's available in the market, my friends. I feel like I've rambled on enough. I This has been the best start to a series of, I think I've ever had. If you could keep hitting that like button and keep sharing it with your friends. Um, it means a ton. We'll see you next episode. If it's not immediately after this, it'll be probably a day after. I just, it depends on what happens at the transfer window. I'm going to try and set up a tour so we can go get some of that merchandising income, um, and start, you know, doing the things we do to, to, to increase our bank balance here a little bit. Um, obviously we need to change our transfer budget to, to get back over the wage budget, but you know, it, it'll be fine. And I'm kind of curious what they do. Will they actually give us 1.71 or is it going to be higher? We'll see you next time. Get in. I'm feeling storky. Let's go.